So you think you're fast enough to beat the bomber? I don't think so. Kaboom! By Activision. Atari 2600. It's the late 70s. Atari is leading the video game industry with their Atari 2600 being the best selling console in 1979. Absolutely nothing could stop Atari. Everything was going great. But not everyone shared the success. Atari programmers David Crane, Larry Kaplan, Alan Miller, and Bob Whitehead went to their boss, Ray Kassar, to demand royalties and recognition on the games they have made. Kassar denied the request, reportedly calling them towel designers. The four men collectively gave their fuck yous to Atari and left to create Activision. As a result, they became the first third-party company and started to make the best games for the Atari. One of their earliest games was Kaboom. Now this game was designed by Larry Kaplan with a little help from David Crane. Now for those who have a sharp eye, this game has a striking resemblance to Atari's Avalanche. Because that's what it is, just revisioned. This game also uses the paddle controllers instead of the traditional joystick. It makes the game more fluent to play. But why should I only tell you about it? Let's take a better look at Kaboom. For the record, the stuff that I use to record gameplay doesn't support a coaxial input, so the footage will have to look like this. Sorry for the lines, hopefully it's not a big nuisance. The game is very simple to understand. You're a pair of buckets catching bombs being dropped by the mad bomber. Who would have thought you could be a bucket in a video game, let alone three? Anyway, every time you complete a level, the mad bomber will increase in speed in the next level. There are a total of eight levels of speed the Mad Bomber can go. And let's just say if you get to that eighth level, you're done for. But there is a way to avoid it, there's a pattern to go by. So what you do is before the point value reaches any thousand mark, like 1000, 2000, or 3000, you purposely drop the bomb. This will decrease the level of speed the Mad Bomber is going. You'll lose a bucket, but that's okay, because once you pass any thousand mark, you get the bucket back, no harm done. So you're basically buying more speed time, and if you want to get a perfect score of 999999, you'll need to use that pattern. But as you can see, I'm not that very good at it because I'm fucking terrible. However, back in the day, if you got a score of 3000 or higher, you could send photo proof to Activision and they would send you a membership to their Bucket Brigade. It included a patch like this. One more thing to point out, every time you miss a bomb and lose a bucket, the mad bomber will be like, but most of the time he'll just be, but when you reach 10,000 points, he'll look a little something like this. And that's how you play. Moving on. Doesn't have any. Next. The only other content in this game is the types of games you could play. The difficulty can be altered by choosing game B, which makes the bucket smaller. And there is a two player option, you just have to take turns. And that's pretty much it. Keep in mind, these Atari cartridges have little room for anything extra besides difficulty and type of play. But damn, I love this game. Moving on.
This game is considered to be a classic both for the Atari and Activision. This game was ported to the Atari 5200 and Atari's 8-bit family of home computers. It was re-released as a miniature keychain by Tiger Electronics, plus the Activision Anthology and Microsoft's Game Room in 2010. And for you Commodore 64 fans out there, there's a homebrew a port titled Kablam somewhere out there. I don't fucking know. So, what is my overall rating for this game? 9.1. I love this game. I really do. But since it's a copy of a similar game, I couldn't give it a 10. But who the hell would remember Avalanche? Uh, screw it. We'll just give it a 10. But that's only my opinion. If you have your own thoughts, leave a comment. If you like what you see, leave a like. If you think others would enjoy it, share it around the web. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Anyway, this has been Brian the Blue Game Reviews. Kaboom! By Activision. For the Atari 2600.